Now it's being estimated that by 2050, about half of the materials that will be used then have not been invented yet. By 2050, we're estimating 70 million people that will be added to the population and the infrastructure that has to be constructed to support this growth is not there yet. We are interested in the construction and rehabilitation of bridges, highways, ports, navigation channels, as well as utility and nuclear infrastructure. The Advanced Construction Materials Lab we have here at Missouri s and is, in my opinion, the most exciting, the most fantastic lab that exists in North America. It gives us the capacity to test the construction material from its origin, its raw materials, its production, its placement, its entire service life, even up to its reuse, its demolition. So you got different techniques, different methods, different tools that can help us in characterizing that material. And it's not just concrete, we're able to do a lot more materials. Normal concrete requires mechanical vibration to get rid of air bubbles in the concrete. We are using self-consolidating concrete, which doesn't require any sort of mechanical vibration, and it's also highly flowable, which makes it easier to use. My research is about to find out how to measure the separation of the aggregate from the paste. In this way, we can make concrete more sustainable and durable. The way we measure the separation of the aggregate from the paste is using a tilting box. We basically tilt the box up and down to simulate the flowing concrete that would be happening in the field. This is when most of the separation happens, so we can measure the amount of larger aggregates that end up on one side and the smaller aggregates that end up on the other. s and is one of the few universities in North America to have all the equipment we need to test the fresh properties of our self-consolidating concrete. An example of this equipment are the rheometers we have in this lab. By using the rheometers, we are able to characterize our self-consolidating concrete and better predict what the mixture is going to do. Most of our interstate transportation system uh, was built in the, in the 1950s following World War II, and it's aging. My research primarily focuses on bridge engineering and the development of advanced concrete materials and the use of advanced composites in bridge engineering, both for new construction as well as repair and rehabilitation of the infrastructure. We have done more than 40 projects in the state of Missouri. At s and I get to build bridges like this. One of the most recent projects was the Highway 50 bridge. This is outside of Jefferson City, Missouri. And this particular project used two innovations on it. It used high volume fly ash concrete. This allowed us to reduce the amount of Portland cement by 50% and reuse fly ash and take it out of the landfills. My research area is in fiber reinforced polymer composites. Composites have several advantages like high strength weight ratio, greater corrosion resistance, design flexibility, and extended service life. For aerospace applications, we use autoclave process to make the composite parts. For civil engineering applications, we use non-autoclave processes so that we can cut down the cost of the composites. Currently, we are making a small scale bridge using a vacuum assisted resin transfer molding process. This process is uh, low cost and also we can make a complex part. So I research polymer materials for the campus and I design the structures of polymeric materials in order to obtain specific sets of properties. Polymers are long chain macromolecules. They're kind of like long spaghetti noodles only on a molecular size. By tuning their size and the, the groups that are within the chains of the molecules, I can tune their response to a wide variety of stimulus. Do they need impact resistance? Do they just need ultimate strength? Do they need a high temperature resistance? And so we can design the polymer material to fulfill the role that it needs to fulfill for optimizing transportation materials within the infrastructure. <laughs>